do you mind if we smoke more weed? <laughs> yeah, we let's smoke some more weed. More, yeah. Look at you. I like I had to Google, I was like, Can you travel to Texas with weed? And they were like, No. It's so I didn't um travel with it. It's in a funky place here legally. You yeah. know, it needs to be legally federally. It's fuck legal federally. It's fucking crazy that we're still doing this. Yeah. The man. fact that it's two thousand twenty three, you could drink whiskey, drink tequila, party on, I got a backache, here's some oxys. But if you have marijuana, like that's the one, that's yeah. the one that we're saying stop to. Yeah, I need to be able to like travel here, walk to a CVS, buy weed, and then go jerk off on the couch at the Four Seasons. You know, like that's I wasn't able to do that like last night. Plan. Yeah, <laughs> I have to go walk a loop around a river. It's a solid plan. Yeah, and you got to take a chance if you buy some illegal weed. It's unfortunate. It's stupid. You know, Jesse Ventura was actually just uh, testifying. Um, I think it was in Michigan. I think Michigan is, uh, oh, Minnesota, excuse me, I'm good. Minnesota is, um, <laughs> um, they're trying to see whether or not they're going to make marijuana legal. And uh, I think it's already legal right now for medical reasons, um, and his wife qualifies for that. And he gives a speech about it. It's a very impassioned speech about how his wife was having these horrible seizures and the only thing that stopped them, he, they tried multiple medications, the only thing that stopped it was cannabis. So they were putting cannabis oil drops under her tongue and she just stopped having seizures. Well, she's never had them since. Wow. But about how expensive it is, it's like 600 bucks a month just in um, for the, the cost of buying it uh, in Minnesota from like a pharmacy, I guess, a marijuana yeah. pharmacy, but it shouldn't be that much. But that's what also what I hate about the weed business now. It got so much more expensive. Yeah. The tax, I mean, I'm not mad at the taxes because if we generate taxes and well, actually the fucking, I don't know. I'm not, that's I'm a, not that's mad at those, yeah. that ta those taxes. I'm not mad at because yeah. if you look at just the bargain, that is weed. Yeah. Here, here's my perspective. Like I think in Colorado at one point in time, they had a 39% tax on weed. Here's why I think that's good. Because one, listen, wouldn't it be great if weed, since it doesn't cost that much money anyway, like if you go to drink, if you have a, an alcoholic beverage, you're paying 20 bucks, you're paying more than 20 bucks, yeah. you're having two, three, it's like 60 bucks. 60 bucks worth of weed will put you on the fucking moon. For a week. <laughs> for a fucking week. I use for a bong. A like for a week. For a week. Yeah. It will put you on the fucking moon. So it's not hurting you to give that 39%. It's like like if something costs, a, if it's a dollar and 39 cents of it goes to tax, if that tax goes straight to the education system, wouldn't that be better for everybody? If that tax goes straight to fixing the city streets, wouldn't that be better for everybody? Like that kind of a sales tax I can get behind. Yeah. Like let's let's give an incentive to yeah. make it legal. Let's no, tax I, the shit out of it. I definitely agree. I, I'm down with the marijuana tax. It, it, the, but it's but just as long so as we expensive know what the money's out being of a spent store. On. And also, I was yeah. like, yo, what about all these dudes that have been selling us weed and other stuff for yeah, so we're long? Yeah, putting them like, out of work? Yeah, like, yo, at least they should be grandfathered in. They should like, be you're grandfathered veterans. In. They you should know? be grandfathered you're in. You're legends in the yeah. game. Yeah. Like, dudes who lied about their, the, when, when they moved to Canada during the Vietnam War. Let yeah. them back. We should just do like a voting ballot across America and be like, all right, write in the names of the fucking weed legends that should have like <laughs> jobs in this fucking giant economy now. Write your man's name in there. Yeah, but the problem is, if those weed guys did that, here's the problem. Like, you've been selling weed for how long illegally are you admitting to? And then the IRS comes after you. And the IRS goes, uh, where's the money? Yeah, see, we need to protect them from that. This needs to be just like weed Olympics. Yeah, the IRS is not going to protect you. Especially if you're now currently yeah, in the do. weed business, yeah. which means you're going to be making real, like, taxable money. Yeah. But no, that's what I'm saying. Grandfather them in, wipe away the old <laughs> shit, and just be like, yo, pff, let these legends live. Yeah. You know, because, like, I don't like seeing the local weed dude, like, oh. not be able to compete anymore. Raw illegal meat. activities. Oh. Income from illegal activities such as mm -hmm. money from dealing drugs must be included in your income on Schedule 1. <laughs> Imagine what a fucking chess move the government has played. Like, they go, yeah, um, you got two options. Either you admit you're selling drugs or we'll get you for tax evasion. So just... Just, it's okay. Just right there. Uh, if you're doing anything illegal, yeah, Make just sure write, write that in. in. There. Write that in there. So we, we have you in a binding legal document, you fucking dunce. Fuck, man. <laughs> you fucking dunce. <laughs> it's a dirty game they play. But it it's, is. it's like, 
you know, here's the thing. It's not like we're living in some devout religious sect where no drugs are allowed. This is not what's happening in this country. Yeah. But to be to have grown adults who tell other grown adults like you can't do that, Eddie. I don't I don't like when you get high. I don't like you eating mushrooms. I don't like you doing any of these things. So you can't do it. If you do do it, I'm going to put you in jail. This it's 2023. We know that's dumb. That yeah. doesn't make any sense. That's crazy. Yeah, weed and mushrooms. Like as long as the mushrooms is dosed, cool. Like who's yeah. gonna like? It's it's kind of hard to hurt yourself on mushrooms. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know about that. I mean, if you really went hard, you could go crazy. You could go crazy. But like you go. Well, someone will. That golf gob in the asshole guy. He's, that guy's gonna yeah, go hard. Someone, someone in Florida is going to yeah. die on mushrooms, but like that's because they're, they're going to get Florida. eaten by a snake. They're yeah. going to go to the snake. They're going to try to talk to the snake, and the snake's going to wrap its fucking body around them and crush them. So would you legalize shrooms? I would still legalize shrooms and yes. just like dose the shit and be like, don't go crazy. You Frying go crazy. pans are legal, too. You can cook on them, or you could just slam yourself in the face if you're fucking yeah. nuts. Yeah. Like all, the, all things, we can't make everything safe. It's not everything isn't I mean, safe. Gas stoves are gonna kill us. Right. That shit's crazy. Yeah, boxing's not safe. You like boxing. I right? love boxing. Jiu Jitsu's not safe. No. Driving your car's not safe. I mean, it's safe, but it's not completely safe. So I, I think weed and shrooms. I'm like legalize, legalize well, fully. Well, here's the other option. You have grown adults that tell other grown adults they can't have an experience. It's been very beneficial to those grown adults. There's grown adults that have taken it that have gotten over cigarettes, that have they've, they've gotten over PTSD, they've changed their perspective on life. It's highly, highly beneficial. And then there's other people that haven't experienced it at all, and they want to maintain this power over these substances and tell you that if you do it or if you sell it, if you have it, they'll put you in jail. It doesn't make any sense.